Hey guys, in this video today, we're going to look at the ThinkScan 601. That's this particular blue device right here. It has many different features, including just regular OBD functions like I did with my Torque app, checking out the different emissions, ABS scans, TPMS. It even has the ability to scan the airbag system and reset oil lights on a variety of different makes and models. Those are things I'm usually unable to do with my Torque app, so that's why I got this fully featured scanner. It does come with a USB reader, the cable, and the device itself. This manual even shows you how to plug it into the computer as well. So if we open this, we could see the quick start guide. You could register it and update it. The device itself is big, easy to use, and has a color screen as well. If you guys happen to be interested, I do have a 40% off coupon code and the link in the description as well. And on the top, we have the USB and SD card access. So now we have here a Toyota Prius with an airbag light on. The first thing I wanna do is show you how I can reset the airbag light and read the code as well. So we do have this plugged in, many different features from scanning, service, and all these other different menus. But now we're gonna do scan. So we're just gonna go over to scan, tap okay. It'll go in and we see all these different makes of vehicles. I'm gonna go down to Toyota, but you could see here, it does cover all these different types of cars. From there, we'll just continue onward by clicking OK again. Cars in the North America area, so I'll select that. After which we have the automatic select function. And then it's gonna start reading the different types of computers, like the ABS, the SRS, the engine itself. So it's definitely fully featured. I'm going to go down to the SRS airbag because I do have the airbag light on. And this is typically what most scanners won't read. And after selecting this, we're able to see the current code, that's this one right here, as well as there are other six codes in its history as well. So if I want to see what went wrong in the past, well, this is interesting because this SRS computer is reading that back to me here. And now we can also see that permanent DTC is lit, lit up as well in red. Right now the airbag light is still there, so I'm going to go ahead and go to erase and see if that clears the airbag light. Just going to wait a bit here, it's successful, and now I'm going to show you that the airbag light is gone successfully. Remember though that this just clears the airbag light, it might come on if you restart the car, so you have to make sure you fix the issue, but this is very good in triaging the issue for me. So it's very cool that I'm able to access the engine, the ABS system, the SRS airbag, even TPMS system to see what's going on with the car. And now we're just reading the ABS system. There's nothing wrong here. And likewise, we're reading the engine as well. And there's also nothing wrong here as well. No DTCs. That's good. So now we're back at the different list of cars just to show you once again that these are all the cars that this supports in terms of reading the computer. And now back at the home screen, we're going to go to the right and hit the service menu. So we'll be able to see that we can reset the brake, the oil, the SAS, and even the TPMS lights if they appear in any car. So oil lamp reset's interesting because I did buy a Maserati and take a look at all the different makes of vehicles that you're able to reset the oil lamp on. That's fascinating. So this really hits two birds with one stone because I want to read the SRS, but now I'm able to reset the oil light on my Maserati as well. So now I'm entering the OBD, the far most left icon, and this just shows all the different monitors and that the check engine light is off. So it's able to show me the readiness of emissions. That's very helpful because I'm able to see that I'm able to pass emissions before even going to the emissions shop. Now I'm able to see all the different readiness monitors that are available since the last light was cleared. That's good to know. And there's a bunch of different options here that I'm still yet to figure out. So now we're going into the setup menu just to show that it shows language, different units of measure, and even the ability to beep and record the different data. And in this last option, you're able to look up a particular DTC code. So if you remember something from last time that you want to look up, you could do it right here. So lastly, guys, this is the ThinkScan 601 if you didn't get it from earlier in the video. It's a very, very good tool. It's able to scan the engine, the SRS airbag, reset a couple different lights, so it's quite handy to have around. And I'm definitely going to be using this a lot in the future, especially with my car. And if you're interested, the link is down below in the description, and if you use my promo code, you could get 40% off it as well. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. That's the ThinkScan 601. Hope you guys like this video. Comment down below with your thoughts and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.